Welcome to the Open Annex How to Video Series. This video is sponsored by Italy by Arbisoft, presented by IS Qureshi, Growth Manager. LTI, which stands for Learning Tools Interoperability, is an excellent way to extend the usability of your Open edX platform by embedding third-party content, like problems, interactive content, live synchronous meetings, and more, as a component inside of Open edX Studio. Additionally, LTIs may also allow external LMSs to embed Open edX content. Popular LTIs include Zoom and Turnitin.com. For the purpose of this video, these instructions will focus on leveraging LTIs as a component in Open edX Studio. Before we begin, the LTI Consumer X block should already be deployed on your Open edX instance. This is typically deployed as part of your Open edX installation, but for details on how to deploy this or other X blocks on your Open edX instance, we recommend reading the Installing the X block documentation available on Read the Docs. Now, once you've deployed your LTI Consumer X block to your instance, you will need to enable it in Open edX Studio. To enable the LTI tool, visit your instance of Open edX Studio and find your course. From there, click Settings and then click Advanced Settings. Scroll to Advanced Module and add LTI Consumer to the list. This will enable the LTI component as an advanced module inside of your course. Now, scroll down to LTI Passports, and you will need to create an ID for each LTI you add to your course. In this case, I have entered Zoom and then input a colon. Now, to enable the Zoom LTI, you must install the LTI or LTI Pro application from the Zoom app marketplace, and you will need your LTI key and secret values, which are found in your LTI application. We're going to copy each field and then enter those in Studio. Back in Open edX Studio, we're going to paste the values and separate them by a colon. And then, when we're ready, we're going to click Save. Now, let's return to our course outline. Inside of our course outline, you will create or click onto a course unit. And if this is the first time an advanced module has been added, you will see that you have the Advanced Module button as a component on your course units. Once you click Advanced Modules, click LTI Consumer. This adds an empty LTI component for you to configure, and you will click the Edit button. Here, you can configure your settings for the LTI component. You can optionally add a display name for this particular component. Beside LTI application information, you can input a short description about this component. For LTI version, select the version that is compatible with the platform that you're integrating into your course. With regards to Zoom, we will be using LTI 1.1. Your LTI ID is the ID that we created earlier. In this case, it was Zoom. Your LTI URL can be found in your third-party application. And you can optionally add in custom parameters. These are key value pairs specific to the third-party platform that you are integrating via LTI. For Zoom, we need to add the instructor email, which is the email address associated with the Zoom account that has the LTI app. LTI Launch Target allows you to set the default window for your LTI component. Inline will be an embedded window. Modal will be an overlay on top of your course content. And New Window will launch your LTI in a new tab in the user's web browser. Button Text allows you to configure the button shown on the LTI. And depending on your launch target, you can also configure the inline height, which is the height of the embedded window, or the modal height and width for the overlaid modal window. The next few fields are optional for Zoom. Enabled scored option if the third-party LTI application passes scoring information into Open edX. Weight allows you to configure the number of points possible for this component and should only be used if scored was set to true. Hide external tool determines whether the LTI component displays the remote LTI tool on the course page for learners to interact with. And finally, you can choose to send optional extra parameters Set that to true to pass over extra credentials uh, that are defined by your third-party application. Once you've made your configurations, you'll click Save, and you can edit these parameters again as needed. Congratulations, you have enabled an LTI component inside of your course. Before publishing your unit, you can also quickly use the Studio view of the problem or the LMS to view and edit the LTI component, or you can click Preview or Publish it and view live to get a look at the LTI component 
as a learner.